Some are calling the recession a, a man session because men have suffered more layoffs. But a new study says women, especially working moms, are feeling the pain more acutely. More than half of working moms say they are working more just to make ends meet. That could have major effects on the economy since women control 80% of all consumer purchases. Women are an economic force that, that have to be reckoned with, and they're going to account for half of the private wealth in this country by next year. My name is Marta Goldschmidt and I work in fashion. And I'm 23, I'm from Italy, but I've been living out here for 12 years now. So I wake up, I just really chill at the house, and then shopping, working on my line, getting my car. My driving is horrible. There's nothing else to say about it. I'm not a good driver, I'm good at everything else. My dad's Adriano Goldschmidt. He's known as the godfather of denim in the fashion industry. So that's why we moved out here from Italy. He founded Diesel, he founded Replay. So many celebrities wore his jeans. Beyonce, Alicia Keys, Halle Berry, Rihanna, Katie Holmes. I live with my dad, who is kind of here, not here, who knows. My mom, who's a crazy Italian woman. <laughs> and I used to live with my little sister, but she goes to school in London now. And our two dogs, my baby Lola and Gino. <laughs> It's a jasmine green tea and it's like, oh. <laughs> First of all, it's hard to even like, there's the mix between Italian and English. Like my mom doesn't really speak English. My friends don't speak Italian, but it's fine. In which one? But I'm saying, why didn't you have a teacher back home? She can't drive. But you can. Yikes. His name is Matt. We met at fashion school and I walked in with a Birkin and he thought it was like a German princess, so he fell in love with me. We took a cigarette break outside and we're like, this. He's mm -mm, the peanut butter to my jelly, I love him. My mom loves tattoos, it's one of the things we do together all the time. She loves it more than me, I think. Usually it's just so many people here all hanging out, we're all being just here. Jasmine and Karina, yes. Do come in. I'm working on my first clothing line, it's gonna be women's wear, but kind of a mix. And I'm doing it with my best friend, which is like my, we're Ebony and Ivory together. So we have the name. Do we have a logo? Um, no, because I want the logo to really just be this. But me and Jasmine, I don't know. We just, we met at school and it's working really good. We have the same kind of style and like the same views and stuff. Rina's studying to be a lawyer. She just takes care of strictly the business side. She's just, you know, getting business licenses, like the name, trademark, whatever you do. I don't know. We have come up with this crazy, crazy pair of leggings. Karina, it's going to be like sheer and like just like blacked out like here. I'm lucky because to my dad I can go, you know, all these buyers in LA, New York, Miami, Italy, Tokyo, whatever, I've, they've come over to the house, I've been over to their house, so we have a personal relationship. So I'm just going to develop my little line and just take it to them personally. My name is Marta Goldschmidt and I work in fashion. You can say head bitch in charge, that's what you should say. Tucker. I'm from Fresno, California, but I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. I have one brother and one twin sister. I get up about 7, 7.30, go to the gym. I work out hard because I want to shed the pounds, and um, over the last probably six months, I lost about mm, 37 pounds. My tennis game, it's all right. 
I'm not Serena Williams or Venus yet, but um, I'm close. I'm, I'm practicing. <laughs> A diva to me is somebody who's self-reliant, independent. She's a hustler, she's a go-getter, she's glamorous. I'm two minutes away, girl. I'm like coming down the hill. I'll see you in a minute, okay, Liz? Today, we're meeting my girlfriend, Liz, at her beautiful restaurant, Fiamme's. And she's gonna give me a wonderful tour of the place. She's every woman, and when I say every woman, she's every woman. She's a true diva. My name is Liz Beto. I'm the proprietor of Fiamme Restaurant and Bar, Headliners Comedy Club at Fiamme, the Gold Digger Vineyard, and the Melting Pot. Well, she was looking for a, a location for a birthday party, and uh, it sounded to me like it was going to be a big party. We showed her around, offered her all of the amenities that we have, and it seemed like a good match, and hopefully she'll be having a big birthday bash here. Well, my mom and my aunt came for the first time. My mom's name is Carol Diane Tucker. She means a lot to me. She's my heart. Well, this is my mom, Liz. Of course, you know mom already. Diane and I hit it off. You can tell that they have a very strong family relationship and family bond. They're just wonderful people. That's why I brought them here. And Liz is a great friend of mine, so. My sister came down from Washington, D.C. I was so excited to see her. Ladies. Hello. Hi. I've made it. Uh, my sister's name is Maya Tucker. She's 45 minutes older than me. My sister can't blow. She can sing. She's done like NBA games, singing a national anthem. So I took her to the studio and she got some studio time in because she's a singer. Everything She did a wonderful job, and we had a great time in there. And I got on the mic goofing around. See, just, oh. just sing something. <clears throat> Some people need three days in row. Oh. Even though I can't sing, but I tried. Some people want it all. <laughs> 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 After the studio, me and my sister decided to go to the beach. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. We just went to the beach to kind of clear our heads, focus on the business and coming up with the strategy. Charlie, come on. Let's walk down more. I don't know, I think I have to have him on the leash, huh? We decided to talk business about our ideas and I have a foundation called A Home for Blessed Children, which I'm gonna be putting on showcases. Well, I'm going to be really busy because Thomas wants me to help him manage like seven of his um, artists. I'm going to be doing my own showcases at Liz's place. Walking Charlie on the beach is a challenge. Yeah, leave the bird alone. Leave the little bird alone. Charlie! Charlie, you come, come back here right now. My name is Kaya Carol Tucker, and I'm a diva. Ask somebody. Wink. <laughs> I'm Connie Lopez and I'm a powerful female entrepreneur who makes her own money, makes my own decisions, and I do what I want when I want and I make things happen. I have a semi-trucking company which I ran, it's called Vixen Transportation. We haul produce from Salinas, California into New York uh, 24 hours a day. I also do modeling and a little other things on the side. Yesterday, um, my friend had called me and said, hey, let's have lunch in Beverly Hills. He was out in the area looking for a home and had a few other people there meet us. Just being in LA, you just never know who people are, so it's really important that you actually get to know their soul. I did, I thought it was 7825. So I'm a sort of a crazy driver. I'm always dealing with text messages, phone calls. North on Fairfax. So when I'm driving, you know, you guys better watch out. So for 
all you guys watching out there, we're on our way up to the famous Hollywood Hills. That's where we all like to go to the after after party. Kai had invited me to lunch that day. He was in the area looking for a house, so we went up to the Hollywood Hills. Um, that's the ideal place to have a party house in the summer. And the house that we found was just horrifying. It was old. The pool did not have a great view. And, you know, for him being what he wants to be, you have to have a really crazy house to have those kind of pool parties. Hi. Hello. Are you Cass? Yeah. I'm Connie. Nice to meet you. Right after we went to go see the house and we left, you know, in disgust because the house is horrible, uh, we went to go visit Kaz down at his new store. Um, he has like a computer store and then we're also merging it with some kind of fashion store in, in the front of it. So I gave him a few ideas. Right, it up a little bit. So no, light. Right. Good to go. Right. And another thing I was explaining um, was the fact that we can actually pull the wall back up to probably here. It was just not cute. The concrete walls needed to be covered up. There was nothing to emphasize the clothes or even have like a window. Some guys think just because they have the money that they know everything and they have the touch, but he definitely needed a lady's touch for that. And then right after that, as in LA, it's just busy lifestyle over here. Um, we had to run over to, well, I had to run over to the photo shoot and take care of a quick photo shoot. And that was so much fun. I try to envision what I want as an end result, and um, hopefully it comes out because that is our goal. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Connie Lopez, and I am a designing diva. Mm -hmm.